I notice you advised an each way selection at nine to two. At what point is each way a bad bet? Now, this is an excellent question because a lot of people won't really have a handle on the reality of this. And uh, there's a few things to go over. The first thing is that a lot of people out there, some people out there, uh, like to bet win only. And that's fine. You know, if you're not an each way punter and you're a win only punter, that's your prerogative. That's That's absolutely fine. But each way punting is in my DNA. Um, and it's what I am, and you know it come for me. It comes from kind of the, the, my mentor, the person who originally taught me how to read racing post form. To to this day, this is a guy in his sixties now. Um, you know he bets to not lose, and it comes from obviously you can still lose, but it comes from that that base mental stance of not betting to win, but betting to not lose. Um, now, obviously. A large portion of our selections in the main line are at much bigger prices. You know, ten to one, twelve to one, sixteen to one, all the way up to sixty-six to one to a hundred to one. We've we had a hundred to one horse placed uh, in January. So you know, the lower end of the range is 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 uh, not usually where we're at. But when we get down there, there is a lot of thought and strategy and fact uh, behind what we do. Now, back in the day, uh, when I was younger, my shortest price each way selection would be five to two. Now, that seems crazy to a lot of people. Um, I suppose that the easiest way to prove that back in each way at five to two is not only not a bad bet, but actually a good bet is to try doing it on a large scale with a, with an online bookmaker. If you were to um, open a couple of accounts this week under a pseudonym or another name and start having £250 each, just hypothetically, £250 each way at five to two, on numerous horses in certain races, um, your account would soon be restricted because bookmakers know that they're they're playing with a shrewdy. Um, where this would also happen, even in a, even a shorter price range, is if you started doing say two to one and seven to four each way doubles, because you're 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 betting to win, sure, but more than that, you're betting to not lose. Now, some years ago, maybe four or five years ago, I. I I, ro- I rose my 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 baseline price from five to two, and it's now four to one. But just let's go back to five to two for a second. If you have one point each way at five to two, um, I'm I'm confident that the horse has an excellent chance of winning. Number one, number two, I'm very confident, like almost to the point of it being bomb proof, that three horses will not beat this horse home unless there's an accident or something bad happens. So all things being equal, I'd be extremely confident that three horses won't beat this horse home. So on that basis, I've laid out two units, two points. Um, If the horse wins, I get back five points and make a three-point profit. If the horse only manages to finish second or third, I get back uh, a point and a half. So I lose 25% of my stake. Okay, I've lost 25% of my stake. But the upside is I've kept and retained 75% of my stake. Now, just say for the sake of instance, I back, you know, back in the day, this before I rose my my base uh, price, um, I backed four horses in a month uh, at my baseline price, a point each way, and all of them finished second, right? And, uh, you know, I've, I, it's, 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 it's a pisser. I haven't had a single winner out of those four bets, but I've still retained uh, three points in my bankroll, and that three points could be the difference between winning and losing that month. And that's kind of what it's about, really. And if you started pairing those up into each way doubles and stuff, your accounts wouldn't last very long. Um, so, yeah, no, my, my, my baseline price now is four to one. And, you know, it, it, nine to two for today's selection, for example. If the horse finishes second or third, um, we lose 10% of our stake, but re, we retain 90% of our stake that lives to fight another day. And uh, that's what it's all about, really. And if the horse wins, then we make a lovely, tidy profit. And uh, and it's just one arm within many arms of the overall strategy of how I do things. So, um, yeah, not only is it not a bad bet, it's it's a good bet. And as I say, um, the best way to prove that is to start back in five to two shots to chunky money. Uh, with your with your bookmaker and start seeing how they react. If it's going well, you have to obviously be good at what you're doing, um, but they will notice that. And th- trust me that the odds compilers will not see what you're doing uh, as bad bets because it's it's when done properly, it's it's very shrewd stuff. All right, thanks for your question, mate. I hope that clears up a few things.